Bodine 52, how are you folks? You know, things like this building, they get old. They move on, a tractor in the back. Sometimes things pass their prime. Sometimes businesses and things you do, you have to stop. Sometimes permanently, stop. sometimes it's just a new chapter. I had this great idea about getting off and sitting right there on those steps and talking to you about it. But I saw that little fella. So, when is enough enough? And what does it mean? Look at that old stuff right there. Farming equipment. I'll bet that stuff in the day was perfect. Did what it needed to do. Served that farmer well. And now it's an antique. Now it's something that's out for people to admire and see. And I think that's pretty cool. What got me thinking about this topic was... Do things end and new adventures start? Or do things just kind of end? And now, this is not a downer video. Quite the contrary. This is to get me thinking... And maybe share with you that, what that means. So, let's start the easiest thing, since this is a motorcycle YouTube channel. Let's talk about motorcycles. Okay? Um, as you all know, I have a uh, new road glide that I traded in. So, obviously, <laughs> things get old to me at times. And I get a new bike sometimes. Okay, every two or three years. Don't judge me. Um, but yet... I have, in this beautiful back here, um, I also have a 2020, or a 2000, I'm sorry, Road King. That's obviously an older bike. I'm not going to get rid of that bike. Ever. Right? But let's fast forward, let's say 25 years. Let me give myself a little bit. I'm 57. Let's say I go to 75 in riding until putting my leg over the bike is too difficult. Or, holding up this 950 pound machine is too difficult. Do I just shut it down then, sell the bikes? Um, you know, obviously a newer bike I would try to sell and make some money. Maybe the older one I would gift a friend or a family member or something like that, right? At that point, do you shut it down? You just go, I'm not gonna ride it anymore. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not I'm not going to do it anymore. Or do you go, huh, I'm going to get a trike. Right? Or I'm going to get a spider. By the way, I made a comment about a spider and called it a trike in one of my videos. <laughs> Bad call, Bodine. Bad call. Um, or do you shut it down? So for me right now with riding, my idea is, hey, when I have to shut down two wheels... I'm going three, baby. I don't care what anybody says. I'm not going to stop riding until, you know, they dig the hole and throw me in. Just not going to do it. As long as I can ride, that is what I'm going to do. So there is going to be a change point for me when it comes to motorcycles. Just like that old tractor that that guy probably has a new tractor somewhere. Now, he may not be getting rid of it, but he's not using it anymore, right? So when it comes to motorcycles, while I may change out, even though I'm going to keep this motorcycle for the rest of my life, <laughs> trust me. Okay, I said that on the video before about my old bike. Um, you know, at some point, the riding is going to end. But if it just slows down, then hey, I'm good, right? I, I'll, I'll have an alternative, right? Uh, what also got me thinking about this is I follow a YouTube channel... It's called Sailing Doodles, and I will leave a, um, maybe Sailing Doodle, and I'll leave a, uh, a link in the description so you can check it out. It's about a, a captain that goes by the name of Bobby, used to be a pilot, had a stroke, now he's on the water all the time, uh, except he's out for hurricane season now. But he started a second channel, and I'm like, huh, what is it? And it's about 
I thought it was going to be just about RVing. At the end of the day, he's going to give away this RV and have somebody um, take it around the country and, you know, make videos of it, put it up on the channel, split some deal with him, partner with him. So this guy's got his crap together, right? So he's thinking, let me do something different. Because at the end of the day, things run themselves out, don't they? So, as an example, how long are you going to be putting out YouTube videos? As long as you can? You see that stopping? Uh, I don't necessarily see that stopping for me. But at some point it may, right? I don't want to do this anymore. Or is it that you want to do something different? Maybe it's a second channel. Maybe it's not doing YouTube at all. But it's run its course. If you look at YouTube right now, there are so many folks on YouTube that it can be overwhelming. Now, you have control of that by who you subscribe to. And first of all, thank you for subscribing or checking in on this video if you're not a subscriber. I appreciate that. And sometimes you limit that or or while you're supporting that person by subscribing to them, maybe you see one of every two of their videos or one of every three of their videos, right? And at some point you feel bad about that. I was on Harley Dayrider's show this morning and I, you know, was, there was a guy by the name of Road Glide Andy and Be The Rider PA. Both good guys, good people. I've been commenting on one of their videos in a while. Right? So you're like, man, I feel crappy. I gotta do. Does it run itself out at some point? Or do you do something different? Do you start a second channel? And then let's go back to Bobby on Sailing Doodles. It's now trying this, I think he calls it glamping uh, doodles now. Are people going to go watch him now because they like him and like what he's doing? Or are they going to go, okay, hey, I like Sailing Dude, but I'm not a camper guy. Or do you know that this guy is good and he's going to take you into some cool places that you're going to see, right? So does that does that stop? Does people that have YouTube channels just go away? Some people that start get frustrated. You know, I'm finding myself more and more, in, I don't want to say in search of, but appreciating those smaller YouTubers and not the big YouTubers anymore. Um, just because you're talking to people, you're friends with people, you're, right? You're, you're forming some sort of, even though it may be through motorcycles and YouTube, uh, some sort of relationship with those folks, some sort of connection with those folks. At that time, does that stop at some point, right? Let's give another example. If you look at streaming, now, all of you know that Harley Day Rider, Bronco Ride, and myself have been doing a Sunday night live site, a Sunday night fireside side chat with the boys for a year, about a year and a half now, right? And we did it every week for at least a year. Almost every Sunday, unless it was something that was an emergency. Now we do it every other couple weeks. But you see a hundred live streams. Now, now you don't know, you only see live streams, but you see people just starting up a live stream. And I think that's pretty cool. I, all power to folks. But man, is it get saturating? Does it end at some point? I don't know. I don't know. It's 100 degrees out. I'm riding a motorcycle. Squirrel! Oh, dude, this is going to be bad. Oh, man, the squirrel dance is sweet, especially when you don't hit them. They come out. That's one lucky ass squirrel right there, I just got to tell you. So, I guess that's my question is. Do things run its course? Some people on a personal uh, level, it may be friendships. Maybe a friendship with somebody. Sometimes they move away. You don't stay in touch with them as much. Your interests change. They have kids. You know, you know. sometimes that slows down or for some reason feels like it goes away, right? And where is all this traffic coming from? By the way, did anybody ever notice in any of my videos we have some corn here in Michigan? There's... In case you need corn and you don't have any in your state, stop into Michigan. We got plenty all over. Just pull your bike up, grab a piece. No, you should probably buy it. That's not right. Um, so, does, but my, my question is does things run its course and do you do one of two things? You go, okay, hey, that was a good run. 
I'm going to be doing something else now? Or do you go, that was a good run, I'm done, right? Not that you're giving up, not that you're going to do something different, but maybe you stop doing something. I don't know. Just some thoughts, folks. Uh, what have you thought about? Have you ever stopped and thought about not doing YouTube anymore? Or do you have something that in your um, neck of the woods in your life that you do a little bit differently or or plan to have a change because you know what you're doing now is going to have to stop at some point? Um, or do you just go, dude, what the hell are you talking about, Bodine? <laughs> I'm not telling. <laughs> All right, folks. I am going to uh, enjoy this beautiful day out here and uh, enjoy talking to you. I appreciate you checking my channel. I always appreciate the people that watch. And, uh, and uh, whether you're a subscriber or you're just checking in and uh, going, what the hell is that dude on the bike talking about? I don't quite get it. But check out my other videos. <laughs> you may see a little more uh, gear reviews, touring. Um, you know, just recently came back from Kentucky and Tennessee and, and riding, riding the Triple Nick in Ohio. So really fun, less philosophical things, I would say. So... <laughs> All right, folks, it's 100 degrees, and I'm getting ready to, uh, to ride through gravel, uh, to ride through <laughs> Hell, Michigan, which probably doesn't make sense. But, hey, if you've never been to Hell, Michigan, you can stop and get an ice cream. Maybe that's what I'll do. Be safe, folks. Be vigilant. Hey, check out a friend. I appreciate you, and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.